What's up, duelers? It's Nerf here. Like I said, I've been playing a lot of ranked with my Vitruvian deck and my Lionar deck. Been doing well with those, but I was getting a little bored and wanted to try something completely new. So what I did was I made a Mechazor deck. So if you didn't know, Mechazor um, is a deck style where you play a lot of these Mechazor units, like Wings of Mechazor, Cannon of Mechazor, Sword of Mechazor, uh, Chassis of Mechazor, and Helm of Mechazor, the five Mechazor units. Uh, they each have the opening Gambit progress Mechazor build by 20%. And when you can get your Mechazor build up to 100%, uh, you get a token 8-8 eight, eight, uh, ranged frenzy uh, creature with ward. So that is really powerful. And it's not like the Mechazor units are that bad compared to regular units that the deck uh, can't function early on. It's uh, Basically I made a Vitruvian deck with lots of draw power like Scion's uh, first and second wish um, and you get as many of these Mechazors out as early as you can and get that huge guy to a uh, huge token Mechazor to uh, finish up. And these guys, the Mechazor build goes up by 20% even after they die, it still stays there. So once you get five Mechazor dudes, uh, once five have been played on your side, you'll have a Mechazor. And then you hope he doesn't get like uh, dispelled somehow. <laughs> so let's play uh, Mechazor. Um, this is actually only the second match I'm playing with it. I, pl I just played a match with it and I completely crushed my opponent. Um, I got all the Mechazor units so fast, so it was really good. I'll get rid of the Siphon Energy. Okay. I will get rid of Siphon Energy again. I would like to get the one drop. Nope. So I can drop this anywhere on the board. And I'm just going to take this away from him. So he can't get the Mana Spring in front. So yeah, airdrop means you can put it anywhere on the board, not next to your unit. But just a 1 for the Wings of Mechazor. Okay, so I get two more uh, Mechazor units. So now, my, so you can see your Mechazor progress when you mouse over your general. So I'm at 20%. I have to get t five of them down to get to 100%. So he gets a couple units down. And it's not an auto win when I get to 100%, though. Keep that in mind. I mean, if he gets too much of a lead early on, it's not going to be too good for me. Uh, now. Let's see. If I play this, then I'll have two left over. But eh, I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe I will. Let's just. Let's get rid of the Rosh's Curse. There's a Mechazor guy. He's the biggest Mechazor. He's not that great for a four drop. But it's good to have all the Mechazors you can. I'm going to get rid of this thing. I am going to take a bunch of damage, but, I mean, whatever. I think, uh, it's fine. I'm going to move down here, just so I don't want him to easily take this mana spring. Okay, so I have two Mechazors in my hand, which means I can get to 80%, so I need one more, and then I'll ensure myself getting a Mechazor very soon. Uh, Scion's Second Wish does immediately just draw two cards. does cost two, though. Lizian Brawler, to watch out watch out for that attacking twice. Uh, Star's Fury just to keep things tame if I need to. You can't destroy this sword of Mechazor. I'm gonna be able to alright, I'll be able to uh, destroy stuff this turn. Um So if I play Science First Wish on this guy, he's four attack. Yeah, it's good. So I'm going to just grab the mana spring with my general. Unfortunately, his general won't be in the frenzy range, but whatever. Science first wish. Now I attack here. You don't even die. And I'll play 
this dude, this big dude, right here. Next turn, no matter what, I'll have the resources, the mana to play wings and cannon. So I don't need to really draw these cards anymore, so I'm going to get rid of this. And next turn, I will have a Mechazor. Unless there's a way for him to lower my uh, Mechazor progress. I think there is a few to spell the space I'm standing on with my general. I think it lowers the progress. I'm not positive on that. But in all likelihood, I'll have my 8-8 with Ward, or I guess it's not called Ward in this game. Just can't be targeted by spells, Frenzy, and Range. So because of the Frenzy and Range, it's kind of like a tough choice. So you want it in the battle to use its Frenzy, or you want it out of the battle to use its Ranged. Uh, I kind of prefer out of the battle because in the battle it means it's higher chance it gets dispelled because of uh, a ephemeral shroud coming down. But you know. Oh yeah, it has airdrop. That's how you can easily put it outside of the battle. So because a mechazor is coming, I feel safe just like. All right, what I'm gonna do? I will. Put you down over here, just so I can put my crown over here. So you can be another range unit. I'll put my Mechazor in the... Alright, yeah, it's not going to get in the action. I'm afraid of a dispel from like a light bender or something like that. I mean, Lionar still has the tools to uh, dispel Mechazor because of the thing that dispels all things in a 2x2 two two radius. So that would kind of suck for me. Um, so I'll hit that. And I'm just going to hit his general. I have much more health than him. So right now you are seeing the power of Mechazor decks. Some people don't think they're that powerful. Uh, they probably aren't. I don't know, this guy, not that, he's on the board right now, the, the four drop Mechazor guy that has five attack, he is a rare card. So maybe a lot of people's decks aren't that powerful. Uh, a lot of Mechazor decks aren't that powerful because they don't have him. But I went ahead and crafted three of them with Spirit uh, because I wanted a pretty optimal Mechazor deck. I think most Mechazor decks are Magmar, some of them Vanar. I went on the Jewels forum, saw a couple people play Vitruvian Mechazor. I didn't see any Lionar Mechazor, so that's why I just decided to do Vitruvian, not Lionar. Um, that does a lot of damage to me, getting a Divine Bond on his uh, Celerity dude, his Lion. Oh well. Uh, but that is likely going to be game now, so I can, I'll try to finish him off with the Mechazor. So, let's see, deal two damage there, another two damage, um, whoops, I kind of messed that up, didn't I? Did I miss lethal? <laughs> yeah, you can't get over there. Well, you guys just saw me miss lethal. Um, yeah, <laughs> oh well, uh, yeah, I could have just played the Staff V Curve first, but I'm going to win this game, get him to turn down to one health, yeah, this is going to be fine, and I'll play this dude just because. So missing lethal like a boss with a Mechazor out, because I wanted to get the final hit with the Mechazor. We'll see if he can make a comeback at one health. And he. Well, I have uh, the dispel on the Siphon's Energy to dispel this. Alright, so now this is. He does have the uh, Sun Bloom. So that's really a nice counter to Mechazor. Because now he's just over there. He's still an 8 8, but that's the problem with putting him outside of the battlefield, like in the corner. Because he can't really be used now at all until I get him over. But luckily for me, my misplay looks like, or my missed lethal looks like it's not going to matter. Because I can just, I can just actually just play this. So I'm going to Dervish and win the game. So that's the Power Mechazor. And that was a, about 10 minutes so far in this video. Um, may as well try to get another 
match fitting in this. Uh, Beyond the Bounds, is that who we just played? We just played Lionheart, I'm not sure if it was this guy. Uh, three Mechazord dudes in our starting hand. I'm going to... I'm going to get rid of the Chassis. And I get a Chassis back. yip de doo um, I'll get rid of the Chassis again. I mean, maybe I should just be holding on to as many Mechazords as I can. But I don't know. You know I have so many Mechazords. Yeah, I'm just getting Mechazords left and right. Actually, I don't think this is the same guy we played. I don't think he was ranked 12. Yeah, I'm ranked 12 right now, guys. Uh, on my way back to where I was, ranked 0. And I think there's going to be an ELO rating system coming out soon for ranked 0 elite players. So looking forward to that. Because I really want to say, I think it's kind of easy to get to rank 0 in this game, considering like people like me, other people have been able to get there just after like a week or two of playing. Um, so I'm looking forward to see like an ELO rating system to see how... I and others really stand amongst the best. What does this do? You're replacing the. Alright, that doesn't really bother me. I could dispel it, but whatever. So, let's see. I think I'm gonna. I wanna take that out, so I'll play the. Let's. Let's get rid of the dispel. I wanna find one more Mechazor. Maybe I should have kept the big guy. I don't know, not a big deal. So I'll play this. With two up. Two up. Destroy. Destroy. And I'm gonna put up my frenzy guy behind. He can come in and deal some nice damage in a second. And now my Mechazor build progress is up to times three. And there I drew Mechazor. So um unless I top deck uh, the one drop or two drop Mechazor guys, uh then it's gonna take at least two turns for me to get the Mechazor out. But like I said, Lionar probably is the best at dealing with it because of Sun Bloom. Maybe if I'm playing against Lionar, maybe I will play the Mechazor in the action of the battle. But against non Lionar faction, I'll probably put it in the corner. So Yeah, what I What I really like about like my Mechazord deck is that, or I guess all Mechazord decks is that, um, like a specific deck to get a Mechazord out isn't really hindered by weaker creatures. Like a 3-3 three, three for 3 with Frenzy seems like a balanced card already and then you get the Mechazord. Um, I mean, I guess this might be a little worse. Uh, so, he's denying me, he's denying me, uh, like Frenzy damage so i want to get the mechazor i'm gonna get over the starfire scarab oh there we go i'll get mechazor this coming this turn actually this exact turn and i'm gonna take out the emerald rejuvenator i don't want to have to deal with a 4-4 so i'm just gonna take it out i'm actually gonna play what i'll do is i'll play this over here that I have enough to play this. And I'm gonna put the Mechazor right here. So, there we go. He's not that easy to dispel um, because you can't put spells on him. But Shroud, I think, works, and Sunbloom works. So, yeah. Now I have one out already. What is it, turn four? Turn five? So, and I don't think that's that lucky. Like, I have so many Mechazord units in the deck. 15 of the 21 minions in the deck are, are have to do with Mechazord. So, and they're not really half bad. We got the one drop 2-2, two, two, like a Ripper. Um just uh, pretty solid so he still has 23 health so it's not like you're gonna be able to win quite soon you know what I haven't tested yet if you're able to get more than one mechazor in the same game I will have to figure that out okay so now he's provoked by the iron club guardian which I actually can't deal with so maybe I should have put it in the corner um, I mean he'll still deal 8 damage to it though 
Okay. Um, good damage to my general. He doesn't really have that many minions on the board. I don't think a Star's Fury is going to be that useful right now. Actually, a Science Second Wish probably is less useful. I could... What do I want to do? I wish I could dispel this, but I don't think I can. Actually, I think I will do this uh, Star's Fury. At least this way. I'm going to get rid of the Provoke guy this turn. So I'll use my Mechazor. Like, even though he's provoked, I still have a huge creature on the board. And he didn't die yet. So, you're dead. Um, I'll give you plus one, one. Oh, now I get the Siphon Energy. Maybe I should have played that card first. I mean the uh, plus one, plus one, so I can draw that. And I'm just going to attack this with everything. So now he's going to be down to 10 health. See what I draw. A Scion Second Wish and Wings of Mexico. Maybe I should get rid of the Scion Second Wish of the deck in the deck. I put it in there because I thought that this deck's going to be all about drawing as fast as I can because I want to find my Mechazor units. Um really quickly make sure I draw them uh, so I can get the Megazor out but I've noticed I don't really need it um, I'm every year I've played so far with this deck I've been able to get a Megazor on turn five four five or six so maybe I should just swap that for some more traditional Vitruvian cards I'll see like, missing from this deck that a normal Vitruvian deck would probably have is like the two cost Blast Guy and like some legendaries. And he's just gonna surrender. Yeah, he doesn't see a way back because he probably couldn't deal with this Mechazor. Um, he was, able, he was gonna be able to attack him again next turn. And he only had 10 health, so it's probably gonna be lethal. So there's a mini winning streak to rank 11. Hopefully, the next time you see me, I'll be back at rank zero and some extra gold so that'll be it for today you got to see a taste of mechazor you guys can make that deck yourself it's probably one of the cheaper decks to make in regards to obtaining the cards uh, because most of the mecha all, all the mechazor cards are neutral um, and just some buying packs you're probably gonna have like this is the one I had to craft from spirit all these I had three of from buying packs um, and I've seen Nekazor decks work without this guy, but it's always nice to have three more guys to three more Mechazor units so you can get that guy out with more consistency. So that'll be it for today. Uh, now I have three decks for rank that I can suck with too, so I will be uh, getting bored a bit less, and that's always good. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, uh, follow on Twitch and Twitter, and I'll see you next time. Uh, Keep on dueling, duelists.